Hello, beautiful people. I'm so glad that you guys are here. So we're getting ready to do our holiday evening routine. I have to wrap presents. Um, we actually went to Target and Joann's and I actually picked up some items from Joann's last night and we'll go over some items from Home Goods. And yes, we have definite goals today. We're also going to make a charcuterie tray and uh, yeah. So if that is something you're interested in, you are in the right place. So let's get started. Hi, Barb. What are you doing with my pants? Those are mine. Thank you. So we're getting ready to head down the stairs. Are you waiting for me? Thank you. Oh my goodness. So exciting for you, right? To play in the paper. <laughs> so yeah, we have Frosty Returns in the background playing. I was going to light a fire, but it's literally like 50 degrees outside, so uh, I think we're just going to leave it off for now. So first up, I have this charcuterie tray up on Crate and Barrel, very excited. I'm going to definitely save that when we pack away our Christmas items. so excited so I had a gift card and you guys I had it for literally like probably ever since I got the house it's been probably about three years and I can never really find anything that I wanted oh my gosh, so excited to get this oh my gosh ever since we made like a Christmas tree charcuterie tray which basically um, what we used to call them back in the day is a cheese board but I do like charcuterie better so oh my gosh you guys and this is like cold and then this is wood so I don't know this is like a faux um I don't even know what this is I think that you know what I think this is like it might be granite I'm not sure it's really really heavy so that is so cool. So if you have like something that you need cold, you can put it on here or here. So excited. So uh, let's go ahead. First of all, I'm gonna wash it, but let's go ahead and uh, start our charcuterie tray. And these are like little kits that you can buy. This is prosciutto and um, we have some mozzarella. I think it came out so cute. Now we're gonna pour ourselves a cup of hot cocoa. And we're gonna grab some candy cane sprinkles. And some of these holiday sprinkles, these are so pretty. And it came smooth. Any gift tags that I like, I actually went to um, Michael's. And believe it or not, they said they have not gotten any gift tags in as of yet because they're still stuck on the ship in the ocean. Do you have your favorite toy, the banana? <laughs> and as you can see, the floor is a mess. And these are some of the items that we're going to use when we decorate. I'm not sure if I'm going to use these yet, but you guys, these are 70% off. This is so cute. This little Kringle, there's three of them in here. Three in here. And this one is so, so cute. So yeah, I couldn't find any gift tags. I literally went to Joann's, um, I went to Target, and I went to Michael's. And so we decided we're gonna make our own. And you guys, oh my gosh, 
I was going to the car. It was so windy and we literally almost lost these. I got to the car and my bag was empty. <laughs> so as you can see over here, I, f I found them on the ground and uh, yeah, we got them safely to the car. <laughs> so I used to use peppermint to pretty much decorate everything back in the day. I'm kind of getting towards more of that theme because you know what kind of everything goes in a circle. So uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and make our gift tag. So let's get started. So you can make circles. I mean, I'm just gonna use a can of soup, but actually I think I'm gonna go more towards like a square. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them out. done. I do have a hole puncher somewhere, but I cannot find it. This is starting to taste a little bit like peppermint. As you can see, this is melting. It's so delicious. So over here in this box, this is just maybe some ornaments that I'm going to put on the packages. And of course, a couple of candy canes. And then over here, we have some more candy canes. I can't show you everything that's in here because these are gifts. And then over here, I have more wrapping made for you guys. I've had this forever. These are like nine cents. I probably still have like 10 rolls left. I mean, I've given away, I don't even know how many rolls. And you guys, look what I found at the Dollar Tree. Jack Skelton, and I did find some peppermint paper. And I want to show you guys what I did get from Joann's. You guys, these are buy one, get three free. So this was $19.99 for four of these. Are you going to help me, Barbie? Thank you. <laughs> and so here, I bought two of these. Again, these were um, buy one, get three free. So I have a little bit thinner. And then this is the thinnest. And then today I went and I bought four of these. So again, these are five and ninety-nine. You guys were four. And then I did find these seventy percent off. I did pick up a few, and I'm going to definitely use these next year because you know, obsessed, obsessed with the gray. And then today at Joann's, you guys, I found these. These were nineteen ninety-nine, and they were sixty percent off. This is one of those old-fashioned light up trees actually my sister has one of those we just baked cookies yesterday you guys i was gone from eight o'clock in the morning i probably didn't get a bed till midnight last night oh my gosh you guys this is so cute it even comes with the bulb amazing okay so we're gonna go plug this in oh my gosh you guys this is so cute Look at that. That is just adorable. Okay. So yeah, I am a child. I did buy this at Target. This is so cute. I do have the Grinch. Come a little closer. So cute. Mwah. And I know a lot of people are obsessed with Elf on the Shelf. You guys, this is a little... A little keychain. That's so cute. So now, a while back, I did go to Home Goods, and I already have some coasters that are wood, but this has the holder. So I think that is just so cute. And you know, I really like to find things that I can leave out like all year, because you know, decorating, <laughs> putting it away. <laughs> more decorating the next holiday now okay so this also I found in home goods this is a candle and mm, this smells so good it's a winter chalet and yeah this is a wood carved lantern collection oh my gosh so cute So yeah, it 
has a huge candle in here and then it's safe of course because you know I have cats so I like to knock everything over and then you can always hang it up I mean isn't it so cute so definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell because when I do my home tour for Christmas you guys can see that and then so exciting We found a bigger one. Okay, so this is so cute. Again, it's the same. The Winter Chalet. So cute. And I mean, if you wanted, okay, so this has a reindeer on it. What is this one here? Oh yeah, this one is the snowflake. And I mean, you can leave this out like through the winter. Or what you can do is you can like turn it this way so then it's seasonless and i like things like that so then it's just a huge oh my gosh you guys it smells so good huge huge candle that'll last for a long time and it's safe it's very heavy and it's just oh, it's hand carved you guys that is so well made so exciting you like that barbie and then of course i found this this is ray done Mmm, smells so good. This is a cinnamon stick scented candle. It's three wick. And uh, we're going to go ahead and light this right now. So yeah, go ahead and light a candle and we are going to... I actually have one more item to show you guys. Oh my gosh, you've seen it. You saw it before, okay? So I got these... Oh my gosh, you guys. I got these at... Joann's. Look at this. These were 50% off, so these were like $6.99. And I did pick up four. This one reminds me, actually, the young lady at the counter said this reminds her of Beauty and the Beast. You guys, look at these. They are so well made. I can't believe that they were only $5.99 and were 50% off. I mean, so they were like $3.00. So I did buy four and we're gonna go ahead and make a bouquet and you know what these can go in straight through winter because this looks like it has a little bit of frost if you guys ever did have roses first of all they wouldn't look like this if they were frostbitten but um and we'll definitely go into Valentine's Day so look how pretty these are so yeah we're gonna go ahead and we are going to make a bouquet. And what I did is I cut the stems a little bit. I don't need to cut them off because if I do have like a huge base, then I will want to use that, you know, use these in the future with the longer stem. So look at that is. What I'm going to do, I'm going to zhuzh it up a little bit, um, and you'll see that in my home tour for the holidays. I'm probably going to put some kind of filler in here, and I really do like using the faux flowers, first of all, ones that are so real. I mean, look at that, you guys. Even though it's smushed, I mean, it's made that way, I mean, it's so pretty. So that is it. So now I'm going to go upstairs and uh, get ready for bed. Super tired. I just used my Cetaphil wipes for the face. It's quick and easy and this way you will definitely wash your face. 
then I brushed my teeth with the gum detoxify or the toothpaste for sensitive gums. I kind of interchange and I always floss my teeth. And then I use the Crest Advance after that. And I always try to brush my hair. I use this wet brush. And if you guys want to watch my hair growth video, I will link that down below. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you next time. XO.